Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, both Bitcoin and Ethereum are running into significant support on the daily time frame. But in the shorter term, prices are breaking to the downside, which I'll talk about in just a moment. So definitely stick around. First of all, just giving you a quick update here on the daily Bitcoin chart. And right now, this bearish divergence is still playing out as expected. And so once again, as I've been saying a lot recently on the channel, do not expect a significant amount of bullish momentum anytime soon here on the daily time frame. And of course, this range of resistance has not changed. So that's still sitting in between 24.3K to 25.2K. And as for the trend on the the daily Bitcoin chart. Right now, we are potentially about to flip from this bullish trend into a possible bearish trend again here on the daily time frame. And this is because the Bitcoin price is getting extremely close to breaking into a lower low below this previous low, which is sitting at around 21 and a half thousands. And of course, if the Bitcoin price starts forming lower lows, that is a sign of a downtrend. And essentially, to further confirm a downtrend on the daily time frame, first of all, we would need to see that lower low and then ideally a lower high to confirm a downtrend forming on the daily time frame. So at least for now, we have not actually confirmed a new downtrend on the daily time frame, but obviously in the shorter term on smaller time frames, we are in a smaller downtrend already. And now taking a look at the Fibonacci levels of support here on the daily time frame, right now. Now, as of recording this video, the price of Bitcoin is running into the 38.2% Fibonacci level of support on the linear scale, which is sitting at around 21.5K. And so obviously this important Fibonacci level comes in confluence with this previous low at 21 and a half thousand. And also this previous high that we saw back in early November, 2022. So there's a lot of significance around 21.5K, which means means if the price confirms a break below 21.5k, that would be a strong bearish signal on the daily time frame. And in that case, we would likely see a drop down towards around $20,000 per Bitcoin. But if 20k does not hold, then in a more bearish scenario, if all of these levels get broken, we would likely see a drop down towards this golden pocket, which is sitting at around $19,000 per Bitcoin. So basically, if 21 1.5k breaks, then the chance of Bitcoin reaching $19,000 again significantly increases in probability once we break 21.5k, if that happens first, of course. And now if you're zooming into the shorter term, this right here is the eight hour Bitcoin to US dollar chart. And right now, the Bitcoin price has well and truly broken below this ascending line of support, which was previously sitting at around 22.3k. Right now, it's sitting close towards 22.4k, which is currently acting as a resistance in case we see a bounce from 21 and a half thousand. Once again, expect resistance close to 22.4k. But obviously here in the shorter term, it is clear that the trend just in the short term for now is a bearish trend. As I've been saying for a while now on the channel, we are clearly more bearish than bullish in the shorter term on some of these smaller timeframes, like the eight hour chart, for example. Example. And so once again, this basically means we should not really be expecting a significant amount of bullish momentum anytime soon for Bitcoin, because right now we're in a short term downtrend and potentially about to begin a larger downtrend on larger timeframes if 21.5k gets broken. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this right here is the daily ETH to US dollar chart, and it is a very similar picture here for ETH because obviously we have this bearish divergence still playing out on the daily time frame, meaning we should not be expecting a significant amount of bullish momentum anytime soon, as I've been saying over the last two weeks. And of course, these support and resistance levels have not changed 
reached over the last few days. So we still have significant support at 1.5K and significant resistance on the daily timeframe in between 1650 to 1.7K. And in terms of the trend right now on the daily timeframe, this bullish trend could reverse into a larger bearish trend on the daily timeframe if 1.5K breaks with confirmation, such as a daily candle close at least below 1.5K. So at least as of right now, we are clearly in a short-term correction. Once again, the short-term trend is clearly bearish, but this short-term trend could enlarge and become a larger bearish trend on the daily timeframe if 1.5K breaks. And as for other levels of support, looking at our Fibonacci levels on the logarithmic scale, we have the 23.6% Fibonacci level, which just broke over the last one day or so. And that was sitting at around 1550. So far, we've seen a daily candle close below 1550, which is one confirmation for the break below that support level, which once again means that 1.5K is the next important support level to pay attention to. But as for Fibonacci levels, we have the 38.2% Fibonacci level sitting at around 1450 in case 1.5K breaks. And now if you're zooming into the shorter term, this right here is the eight hour ETH to US dollar chart. And right now, as of recording this video, the price of ETH just broke below this area of support based on the volume profile indicator. And in case you're new to this channel, this area of support was sitting in between 1550 to 1580. And once again, right now, the price of ETH has confirmed to break below 1550, which is a short-term bearish signal. But at least at the time of recording this video, the price of ETH is finding some short-term support at around 1530. As I mentioned in my last video, 1530 is also based on the volume profile indicator. But if 1530 breaks with confirmation, then once again, 1.5K is the next significant level of support to pay attention to on that daily time frame. And as I also explained earlier in the video for Bitcoin in the shorter term, we are clearly in a short term downtrend for ETH as well. And like I also said earlier, this short term downtrend could become a larger downtrend on the daily time frame if 1.5K gets broken. But believe it or not, you can still make a lot of money in crypto, even if the price is dumping. And if you want to know how to do that, then check out these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left is a complete step-by-step -step tutorial showing you how to make money even if the price is bearish. And the video in the bottom left shows you how to make money if the price is chopping around sideways. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.